Addressing the United Nations General Assembly in 2015, President Xi Jinping offered 100 million US dollars in military assistance over five years to support the African Union's peace and security architecture through initiatives such as the African Standby Force and African Capacity for Immediate Response to Crises. The pledge was repeated in Johannesburg at the 2015 Forum on China-Africa Cooperation, with an additional pledge of 60 billion US dollars in development aid to Africa. The South Africa Mail and Guardian reported in 2018, Chinese personnel have served on Africa missions for decades, but until 2013, they were small contingents in unarmed roles such as medical and engineering support. China now provides more personnel than any other permanent member of the Security Council. They number 2,430 as of September. In 2015, Beijing set up a unique UN Peace and Development Trust Fund managed by the United Nations Secretariat. The fund allocated over 11 million US dollars in 2016 and 2017 for UN projects, which include building African capacity to train police and soldiers for peacekeeping roles, regional operational analysis for peacekeeping missions, and support for the AU's initiative to end conflict in Africa. In 2017, the People's Liberation Army of China set up a 98-acre military base in Djibouti with a 10-year lease at 20 million US dollars annually. The People's Liberation Army described the base as a support base for naval anti-piracy operations in the Gulf of Aden peacekeeping in South Sudan and humanitarian and other cooperation in the Horn of Africa. However, it has also been used to conduct live fire military exercises. In line with China's 2015 defense white paper and counter-terrorism law, the Djibouti base enables the People's Liberation Army to project force and protect Chinese citizens, supply chains and other interests in Africa and along its maritime Silk Road across the Indian Ocean. The Stockholm International Peace Research Institute showed that China has become the top supplier of arms to Sub-Saharan Africa, accounting for 27% of the region's imports over the four-year period from 2013 to 2017, an increase of 55% from 2008 to 2012. A total of 22 Sub-Saharan African countries procured major arms from China from 2013 to 2017. Key among them, are Ghana, Kenya, Nigeria, Tanzania, and Zambia. The Zimbabwe National Defense College was built by a Chinese company at a cost of about 100 million US dollars. The money was provided as a loan to the Zimbabwean government sourced from the Chinese government. In 2018, China installed new generation surface-to-air missiles in Zimbabwe to prepare for defending China's vast economic interests in the country. In April 2019, the Zimbabwe Mail reported that China's special forces were to be stationed in Zimbabwe and that China was planning on building a secret underground military base in the country. The Chinese government has also revealed that it intends to cooperate with South Africa on military technologies. In November 2019, Chinese and Russian warships arrived in Cape Town for their first naval exercises with South Africa in an event that was described as a demonstration of shifting allegiances. The China Africa Project reported, if US officials haven't received the message yet that Pretoria is increasingly aligning its foreign policy with Washington's two most formidable adversaries, then the image of Chinese and Russian warships docked in Cape Town should do the trick.